What's up guys, so today is the 1st of April, could have done an April Fool's video, but yeah, I just don't want to disappoint people any further, so let's go back into it, uh, if, you know, arena restarts, time to grind up again, it's pretty much ideal to keep getting 6 paths just because you get yourself 60 frags of a common ninja, which I got Kuratsuchi this month, and 30 frags from rare ninja, so I got Gakido, um, and then you know the 60 frag frags becomes uh, 6 seal scrolls, and you get yourself some rank points. But what I found interesting is just, I don't know, I was, I was thinking about the past, um, before, you know, the game got too crazy. So we got ourselves the area monthly reward um, to pick those things up. Now, if for those of you who have played before Kage Treasures, this team was one of basically, I guess, the teams that made Earth main so strong back then. Um, it was a very end game meta lineup that we were using way before Kage Treasure Ninjas. Um, basically when everybody was trying to go for Sage Naruto and most Sage Naruto lines were being used Just using Iruka Hashirama to give a full wide buff and having the earth mean for shields It made this team super strong in the past and it was really hard and difficult to beat um, Today I decided why not just bring this team back and get a I guess different spin of it um, So we have the four talents. I always wanted to mess with defense knowledge because I do like what it does the 60% resistance as well as the 20% defense. Um, and Steel Body isn't exactly what it used to be. Before, it, I don't mean, I don't know if it was a typo, but before it used to say it gave resistance um, instead of defense, and now it says defense is increased. So I'm guessing it was just a typo and it did that anyway. Um, however, I could run, the idea was to run Steel Body because the Earth main was in the middle and he will be focused for most of the attacks. So it's still, you know, really good to go with Steel Body, why not? Um, I decided to just go for a different spin of it. So defense knowledge just to boost the entire team plus the 60% resistance boost It'll be interesting to see how high Iruka shields are. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it Also, I the idea was to do primary Lotus and use either Katsuyu or Rhino summon I decided to go for earth style stone fist just to get the intro from Hashirama and to get myself the king of hell Because I got this thing and I just never use it. So I figured why not try it out on this team um, Pose of Duel is very good. It used to be better before since it was above 50% HP instead of full. But if Pose of Duel doesn't really work out because I'm not running shields, which, you know, you would have ran shields in the past. Um, I guess I can always try Bottom Force as something to mess around with since Enhancement of the Earth Style will only boost uh, the Earth Main and Hashirama. And the Wood Style Universe is just, I don't have any shields, so I can't exactly, well besides Iruka. Um, so I won't be able to keep doing the Immobilize each round. And then for standard attack, would have just went with Petrifying Jitsu um, just to get the shields. But I wanted to try out Konoha Hurricane just to see how much damage the Earth Main can do. I never really did like a more of an offensive focused Earth Main. Now with the way the meta is, I guess the Earth Main is more of a back row character, more of a supportive character, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, but I just wanted to bring him on the front and try to put him as somewhere in between. Somewhere in between as a support and at the same time somewhere he can do a little bit of damage. Chakra Wall is a good mystery, um, just to, you know, if we really wanted to boost the shield on Sage Naruto, we would have went ahead and did this. Or, but I'm just sticking with this, um, just because I kind of feel like we needed more damage output. Could also do the double attack, uh, su the Super Light and Boulder Jutsu if I really wanted. And I really don't need the interrupts as I have Iruka, but being in the third spot makes it kind of dangerous. So I don't know what my expectations are of this team. I think it shouldn't do bad, because personally Sage Naruto is... I still think he's OP as fuck. I mean, you guys saw the video of Matsuri yesterday. Um, you know, I, I was honestly unexpected against the Raikage fight. So yes, you could do Killer B instead of Iruka, but the difference is Iruka does boost all four ninjas, while Killer B would only boost Sage Naruto, and you could basically give somebody a double standard attack, which did work out last night for Sage Naruto, and even Hashirama if you really wanted to. So we just got, I just want to find out how this is going to do. Uh, just making sure the sounds are on. So, going into Arena for another grind, um, have to put everybody back into it. So, as far as the how the videos are going to be now, I'm really not sure. Um, still have been trying to take a break from YouTube and do it as best as I can and how I really want to do it, just to, I guess, you know, be chill about things. But it's just really hard to put away YouTube and take an actual break. So, when it comes to fights, I would like to do music, but a lot of people want more commentary. And another thing I should say is that there will be a Naruto Blazing video from the Madara uh, Blazing Festival today. So you guys can look forward to that. 
Um, it, will, it will have music on it because I mean I just I just have the worst luck in the world. So I let Punk Geeks do my pulls for me. Uh, so there was no commentary for that. But I can say I pretty much got everything I was expecting from the Blazing Festival. Um, may may have been lucky, may have been unlucky. Depends on how people view it. But let us see what we get in Arena. All right, there we go. I find the Arena queues pretty messed up. No idea why. It's just I think it's better to queue up, wait for a minute, just because you don't find anybody, just cancel, restart the queue. I think it's kind of a better way to queue up. So we go up against a standard root team, acupuncture going on Hashirama. Uh, control failed though, so we actually managed to luck out. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any way to clear that. So, another thing is, since I'm Earth main, you guys all know, if you have known me on YouTube for a while now, um, you will realize I do not like Earth main. It's just, honestly, it doesn't fit my playstyle, I find it really boring. And it's for those reasons, those reasons why I just don't really like it. Um, I'm stuck with the Earth main for a week, because I, like I said, I'm going to... Okay. Uh, so I'm going to cycle through all the main characters, and just for that reason, I figured, why not try out, you know, lineups that I used in the past. I was only Earth for a brief time in Naruto Online, to the point where I actually enjoyed it. So I'm going to try out some more lineups. Um, I also want to try out ninjas I didn't use, like I haven't messed with Kurotsuchi or Akatsuchi. So I'm going to try out and mess with those. After seeing how little damage the Konoha Hurricane was doing, I'm just going back to petrifying. I mean, <laughs> um, in an arena standpoint, obviously it's not going to be as high as I thought it would be. But let's go back into the shields and see what the next opponent's going to be like. And we get ourselves an instant Q, which, okay, so Kisame, Mei, and Ao. Okay, so we still have to worry about the acupuncture, and we can't interrupt it because Ao is immune to interrupt. Um, so if the control doesn't fail, we're, ha we're good. If it, the, or if it does fail, we're good. If it doesn't fail, we're good. So let us just see how it works out. Um, yeah, I don't know like, what's going to affect this, I guess. Let's just try. We get the barrier out anyway. <laughs> it feels nice to be patient and get it out. That's pretty much what we do. Um, now we're kind of screwed, but at least we do have a main mystery. So, I'm happy with that. We can still do a main, or we can still target May with the, the Earth main and still interrupt her. So we're still perfectly safe, but I'm not sure if we can get a kind of combo. Or actually, never mind. We actually do get it out. So, uh, pretty pretty good. We we locked her down. Um, keep something up in the front though. Really interesting. I really don't see Kisa too much. But in arena he's balanced. Well, everyone's mostly balanced, right? So it's gonna work out well. Uh, Kisa is gonna shark bomb next round. So all I can do is Iruka for the Zerg I don't know what he's gonna be running. I mean, okay, I uh, don't have to worry about anything at this point. I could use Iruka to kill off Ao, which I guess I just might as well do for fun. And since Sage Naruto's acupuncture can't really handle the mystery, so we just rely off the standard attack. Um, like I said, I haven't really messed with King of Hell, so I figured the extra bit of poison damage is working out. But yeah, this person could have won if they just used Ao on my Ashirama round 1. Um, otherwise, it would have been pretty much a wrap here. Yeah. So we can just get off our barrier right here. Pretty much a slow win, but. Team is uh, meeting expectations. I feel like it's solid all around the board, but just never really like the arena teams. I really don't like arena when it comes to testing lineups because power has a way bigger difference outside of arena, and to get some proper gameplay from lineups, you kind of have to do that. Uh, so after like forever, I'm hoping Russ and Shuriken kills me with the damage. Otherwise, we're not gonna be looking too good. And uh, yeah, we do. So first fight. I can say the team has met my expectations. Um, like the always biggest issue is with these kind of teams is that there's no way to clear crowd control. And if you get locked down, yeah, you're kind of screwed. So you have to be very patient. Play your interrupt right and just wait for your opportunities. All right, we got ourselves another fight. So just before, uh, just another thing to add about Naruto Blazing is besides the pool video going up on the same day today, I will be planning to do a I guess kind of like an informational video because if you want to start playing Naruto Blazing, this is your opportunity. Uh, I will make a video that further explains that, just so you pretty much get an understanding of what you should go for and what's the what's the best thing to take advantage of right now. If you don't know, there is like a 10 million download celebration going on, 
and there's just a lot of good ways to grind rank, which is very important to having high cost teams. And the Blazing Festival for Modern is out, so you can get yourself like the best characters like Modern, QB Naruto, and Minato. So just a heads up, like, I'll have a video about that tomorrow, um, just for you guys to go through. So, against a root team, uh, King of Hell is not going to have a great effect, but the initial damage on the team is good. Also, I fixed the buffs because I wasn't sure how I placed the characters. So I put Sage Naruto first, Crimson Fist, then Iruka, uh, and then I ended up putting Hashirama back. So, just in case uh, you know, the buffs, buffs weren't in the proper order, they should be good now. And the only thing to worry about now is just the Kimimaru at this point. Um, my boy's mystery, just for some small amount of damage, I guess. But besides that, you know, I still think this team is doing fairly well. I just never, I was never fond of a very slow playstyle, that's why Earth was something I just really did enjoy. But, um, you know, Sage Naruto makes anything fun, right? Especially with a King of Hell. Finally gives me a decent team of lineup, because when I first got that King of Hell, I tried to force it into so many lineups and you just can't force the King of Hell either accepts the team or rejects it. And I can say with the Ross and Shuriken proc and the 10 hit chases, it's pretty good. Uh, Paralyze kind of missing me up right there. But, you know, I kind of do miss the double attack from Sage Naruto, so pretty good damage. Seeing as how only the back row has been staying mostly full HP, the pose of duel hasn't been too good besides that. Um, you know, the Earth Me has been taking a lot of hits, but I will, I'm curious to see how the um, Dying Time, I, I guess, I forgot what it's called already, um, whatever the talent is. Based on how much it, uh, every time it gets attacked, it gets his attack increased. That talent will be actually pretty good in this lineup. Maybe then I could switch back to the Kanaha Hurricane, but the shields have been working out a little bit. As long as you don't face against Ignites and Poisons. So getting through all my arena missions. Uh, it's called Bottom Force, yeah. It used to be Undying, and then they took it out. Uh, Undying was honestly, I think, the dumbest thing that they ever put for Earthmean. I actually did try Undying just to see if it worked. But that's why back then Steel Body was just the only viable option. I do miss, however, the uh, the third passive that they had for the Earth main, where I think it just gave a double attack to anyone on your team. Do really, I really do miss that passive. I wish it did return, but uh, the slight changes to the Earth main, I guess, just to balance out the meta. So bottom four. It's not. Sh I don't think I'll mess with it though, just because I prefer the shields. Um, when it came to Earth main, I always went for shields, and that's just how I'm accustomed to it. Resistance mood on that. Overall, I think the team's gonna go out well. I'll just keep doing the video until we promote. Alright, we got ourselves the next fight, so... Damn, it's just an Osasuke, Gara, Sage, Naruto lineup. Um, okay, so Fire Main is probably gonna run Genji Tsunur. If it's running Seal, okay, so it's running Genji Tsunur. We're perfectly fine. We can just hot Shirama with no risk out of this. Uh, we, have to tar we have to target Sage, Naruto. Sasuke is immune to combo, we'll do it too. Um, that's kind of rough. We can't interrupt him though because he's in the 4th spot. I honestly don't know what this team is going on with. Uh, he presses from server 85. Don't exactly know anybody on that server either, so... Uh, maybe just trying out something completely random right now. But, we can't interrupt the Sasuke. And even if Sage and Archer is going to go, then the free Hashirama interrupt will stop the mystery. So, we should be perfectly fine round 2. Um, especially with Hashirama, you know, the crowd control is going to be coming out. Just waiting to see for the soft finish to be He might be just waiting. So, I don't know. I'm assuming he's going to Sasuke. Yeah. He's going to Sasuke. Let's get the interrupt going. And <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, just seeing a system of Sasuke get stopped just like that. Uh, but that's just how the game works, honestly. You need a lot of initiative, plus positioning, being in the fourth position for the Sasuke is not good. Unless you have some kind of immortal team in mind. You know, this team has some very nice crowd control. Uh, I'd say we still go after Naruto with the Crimson Fist because he never uses this one. So next round, I definitely see the Rossang Shuriken coming out towards us. And probably the Genjutsu Nuri again, just to cleanse everything off. Um, so overall, you know, get ourselves a free interrupt. I'm actually enjoying this team. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually liking the way it turned out. Um, it is true that it could get shut down by heavy crowd control as well. But the crowd control from this team is doing really well. So let's hope we get our next fight, win it, and just promote. 
and then I can finish off the video here. All right, so our last opponent, and we fought this person yes. too. So let's see what happens. Yes. Um, gonna have time to. That's probably gonna just use the owl on the Hashiram run after that, and then it's still like Sage Naruto will still do a lot of damage, but otherwise I think I think we'll be fine. The biggest threat on this lineup is definitely Hashiram and Darius. Because it will boost everyone even further. Um, if he still wants to go ahead for Sage Naruto, I guess he will, he's gonna do it. But we'll just wait and see. Find out what's gonna happen. So let's just see. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna act the punch here. So now we at least get ourselves a Masuki Shuriken next round. Um, Alright, so the bad thing here is that the clones didn't die. So, I have to hold off on my mystery, because May will get the 60 chakra, and she'll be able to use it. So either we wait for my boy, or we just, yeah, which, whichever way it's going My boy's gonna give her the chakra, I still get chakra. Or I just, I'm just gonna get screwed over by Wei. That could've definitely just happened. <laughs> so yeah, you know, rule number one of Arena, don't overthink it. I should've just probably blasted it, but we're gonna end up losing that. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the initial plan of stopping, it just ended up in me getting destroyed because of that. So who knows what's, what's gonna happen after this fight. But yeah, so pretty much a wrap. Triple CC on the entire team, you know, double the Earth means dead. Yeah, kind of overthought that. <laughs> Way too bad. Well, there we go. And uh, actually, wait, this person. No, it's the same person. I can't remember. I thought it was the, the Kisame person that we fought earlier. Okay, so we get into another match straight away. Yeah, just pretty much don't overthink stuff, or that's gonna happen. Okay, so this team is beyond troll that has nothing else to describe this. Um, I would not be surprised if he's running the seal. Really wouldn't be surprised if this team. Genjutsu Mirror is a really good mystery to use, but um, yeah, this, this team is just very unorthodox, and uh, damn, yeah, I don't know, I'm just gonna rip the door here, if anything I can always interrupt the seal, so I'll be waiting for that. Like damn, the people, the people use these kind of random teams for doing that. You know, it's nice to have fun. But if you're doing it in ranked, you're going to have to expect that when people actually follow by you know, meta criteria, it's not going to result to your ranked. And I accidentally pressed the... Uh, <laughs> oops. So, we're just going to... Like, I don't know, I want to kill off... I want to kill off Jiraiya. Okay, Dragon Flame, that's even more than what they're going to say. Wow. Um, you, like, you really never see Dragon Flame used anymore. This, this guy just noticed in the chat that we got a shot. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Now you're doing black eyes, so that's pretty, pretty funny fight on this team. And then, you know, it's, it's everything <laughs> um, I paralyzed from Tenten's chase though. Always leaves us for trouble. Damn, Tenten is pretty well. Uh, you know, it, it just doesn't have that much of an impact because there's no buffs going on. There's no buffs on that Tenten. So the standard damage doesn't bother me too much. Now Jigo Kudo could revive, so I guess we just try to do Jigo Kudo. Uh, we're not going to stop the chase because we're, par we're paralyzed anyway. But why not, right? Just target anything. The point is not to overthink, alright? We need to do stuff on instant. When I was overthinking it in the last fight, yeah, it cost me so bad. Um, so, no, I don't think we can kill that Jigo Kudo to get him and revive somebody. Yeah, he's just not gonna take enough damage. So Jiraiya comes back, probably roasts me. Uh, with a mystery right off the bat. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Like, Jiraiya has such high ninja stats, and the Ignite he does. 
Super strong. Um, so I'm just saying, we just go after the Jiraiya Mercy, kill him. Jigokudo is probably going to be dropped to like 2k HP, so I don't even know. Uh, Fire Mage should die from me. Yeah, there is no reason to die. So it did even less. 3.6 actually. Um, Alright, this Jiraiya. Are you serious right now? So yeah, this is is over in this round. Alright, hopefully the next fight will promote us. That's the thing I like about climbing from the low level ranks, because you can get away, you can get away with so much things, but when it comes to the high ranks, you can't get away with anything. Um, especially when you fight like 90% of the time, root warriors or main teams in the high ranks. So take advantage of the low level arenas, you know, if you want to use some fun lineups or something that might not generally work in the higher tiers, Go ahead and use it. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in the middle. I, I definitely say go against um, just maze. Like anything that deals with crowd control is definitely the biggest weak point for this team. And like I said, teams are never perfect. Every single team has a weakness, and you have to find a way to play against it. So let us go into the last fight. Hope we win. All right, we're getting the cues really fast now. At the start, it was taking a bit, and uh, yeah, so. It's rather interesting. So Shirado, um, Shirado Nengendo Dan. Shirado Nengendo may like me. Um, I mean, may will like me, main. I will just ignore that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. It's like people using the rule with lightning. So it's just, it's not really meant for that. You can feel free to do what you want, but the purpose is not exactly there. Um, damn the damage, yo. Mass combo chase. So, Shirado's going not to injure. I mean, he did have chakra. I, I don't think he used the mystery. So, um, yeah, we just kill off May. That's pretty much the potential powerhouse in this team. Don't have to worry about anybody else. I'm guessing the lightning might be running with Chidori. Otherwise, we're, we're perfectly fine. Okay, now he interrupts. And I think my mouse actually just stopped moving. Yeah, like, yeah my mouse literally just froze on my screen. <laughs> so I can't do anything. Luckily, Iruka dodged that, so... Uh, yeah, I'm having like some technical difficulties here. It's... Never buy a laser mouse. Like, I bought a laser mouse thinking that was good. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like literally stuck at this point where I can't do anything. Okay, the mouse begins to work again. So the Crimson Fist is crowd control. Um, pretty much the only the only mystery they're gonna have in the next round is gonna be the lightning. Main. So we have to stop it, and it secures the victory. So I would say I didn't fight the hardest opponents in this, you know, first tier of uh, arena. But I did actually make for some enjoyable fights. I actually do enjoy this team. I'll definitely try it out. Um, Great Ninja War is tonight, so if we do get a fight, I expect a Great Ninja War video tomorrow. Um, so like I said, I will have a Blazing video later today. Um, another Blazing video tomorrow, just to give you an idea of how to get a good start into the game for those that aren't interested. And if I do get a Great Ninja War fight, I will see you guys tomorrow. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.